Okay, we are going to be making uh, what's called a dovetail joint. Good, we got a few more. Now, a dovetail joint is where you've got kind of like a tail of a bird cut onto the end of one piece of wood. And that's the dove's tail. And it fits neatly into uh, a little gap cut on the end of another piece and you make an interlocking wood joint, all right? I'm getting nervous. It's all right. You can keep videoing. It's fine. So that's it's a, it's one of the more complicated ones that we're going to be cutting. So you're going to try try your best. First time you're going to not get it perfect. You're going to use the same pieces of wood that we've been making all of our wood joints off of, and you're going to be uh, joining on the end that is not the rabbit joint. So you made a rabbit joint on one end, you're gonna join on the other end. For me, I can't find my pieces, so I'm gonna use two more pieces. I'm gonna make the, the joint like this. So you'll notice they join and they end up flush on the ends. So we have to mark that first. So you're gonna start by taking your pieces and lining them up flush here and drawing a line across. And you're going to do that on, on both sides of your board. Line it up flush. And on both ends of your board. So that's, I did it on this piece, now I'm going to do it on the other piece. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to start, we're going to start by cutting the tail. So to cut the tail, you're going to put the uh, wood in your vise. Now we've got to get a wedge shape here. It's got to be angled. See how those pieces are angled out? That's how it has to be. And the, the amount that the angles is kind of, uh, it can't be super steep, but it can't be vertical. If it's vertical like this, it's not going to work. All right? So let's see. Nice quite. Thanks. We want it to be square across the top here and angled down. So I'm going to cut those. How far in? Doesn't really matter. Try to make it centered, but it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so I'm going to start my saw and I'm going to go angle. And I might not be following the line over on that side because I don't have a line on this side. It doesn't matter as long as my saw is angled. Sawing down to my line. All right, so I've got that dovetail shape. Now I'm going to clean up the shoulders here. So you notice I'm just cutting out the corner here to make the to make that shape. Same on this side. Cutting a little bit back from my line. I'm not cutting right on my line, just a little bit back. Okay, so this one's a little off. You can see that this is angled more and this is a little less. Don't worry about that. Now we're going to make what's called the pins, two pins here to fit the dovetail in there. Okay? Quiet, please. Watching carefully. You're going to line the shoulders, that's this part up to the edge of your board with a nice sharp pencil you're going to mark mark your uh, mark the edge of your dovetail on there whoops I did the wrong end it's all right I'll redraw my line here still got lots of room on that hasn't shut off yet all right now we've got to remove this center bit right there so that our piece fits right in there. All right. So I'm going to use the square. Memphis. Quiet. Play us. I'm going to use a square to make sure I stay lined up and vertical. And I'm going to do the same on this side. Wherever where this line comes across, I'm going to draw it down. 
Nick, Nick in Memphis. Watch. Austin, Riley, wait. Okay, I'm going to remove this piece here now. So I'm sawing down to my line, but I'm staying a little ways away from my actual line, just, just the side. Just down to my line. Now here again, I'm going to stay just beside it. Saw down. All right. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. We're going to use a new saw. This is a coping saw. And this is for turning the corner at the bottom because we have to cut along the bottom of this now. Okay? What I'm going to do is get the coping saw down there, begin sawing, and as I saw, twist my wrist so I turn sideways. Now I'm sawing sideways, I'm going to follow that line. fit it may not fit yet if it doesn't quite fit that's good because what we're going to do now is just clean it up with a chisel until we get a nice fit So if you can get them to fit like this, where it's just friction and held together, you'll have done a really good job. That is how you cut a dovetail joint, or at least that's how we're cutting this one. There are lots of ways of doing that, but that's how I'd like you to do it, all right? So that's after the miter joint. Thank you very much.